Thanks for joining me again. So before I start, I'll just quickly whiz through the colours. We've got ultramarine, cad yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. We got large on ransom ache and 15 by 11 Fabriano. So I'm going to start this one as I often do with a big ache brush and this is just clear water all over evenly so this will stop the paint from going all crinkly. Also soften up a lot of the sky and background as I begin the painting. So I'm going to start off with the raw sienna, a bit of a and crimson, back to the raw sienna, a bit of light red, a bit of blue, a bit more red. Clean the brush and I'm going back up to the top, I'm going a bit of blue, clean the brush again, I'm going a bit of Add yellow and crimson. Bring that down, something like that. And then get a bit of, bit of Payne's grey and a lizard crimson. Let's pop a few little clouds here and there. around something like so a bit of cat yellow and just tip that out there like that bring that in a little bit Payne's grey, these are in crimson. I'm just going to strengthen these a little bit more. And they're getting a little bit more down this side and they're getting just really, really narrow as they get towards the horizon. I mean, kind of dry, just doing all over the place. stretch a little bit so I'm just going to refix it on this right hand side with these clips pull it tight against the easel so it's flat and I can start again so next I'm putting in the horizon line which is about a third of the way up the page just enough to cover those clouds that I did by mistake so distant land I'm going to I'm just going to take a bit of everything a bit of everything towards blue, a bit of more crimson, right, and so we've got some a little bit stronger than I was aiming for. So I've just diluted it slightly just to Soften it up, soften the tones a little bit. Something like that. There's the horizon. And then in front of there, you know, quick dry. have some trees. I want these pretty dark. So I'm giving a bit of blue, a bit of yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. And then getting really dark there. Something more down there like that. And then one 
do. Clean the brush, I want to get back to a lighter colour, so I'm going just straight into cad yellow and just at the bottom of all this, just dip, 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 push that up to those houses, right up there like that. Do an ultramarine in there just to change it back to the cad yellow. Clean the brush, keeping it. I want to get back to a lighter colour, so I'm just going straight into raw sienna. Bit of yellow. Just feel as if I'm faffing about with that bit now, so I'm just gonna I might just give that a leave that alone for a minute. Now moving on to this right hand side we've got some big trees, well bigger, bigger than those ones because they're a little bit closer. So I'm gonna start Something like there. Put a bit in there. Like that. And something there, like. Like that. And let's have another really dark one there. in there. So I'm just going to go light red, a bit of ultramarine. I want to just sort of, just sort of go around that corner there and it's sweeping around. Something like that. So now I've got that in place, I'm just going to push this left hand grass just up to there. A bit of Sienna, a cad yellow, just push it up to this, up to this path. The bottom of the rain, so there it's slightly. A bit more yellow, a bit more blue. A bit more yellow, just push that line up to the path. On this right hand side, starting off with the lights. So I've cleaned the brush, in back into that cad yellow, put a touch of raw sienna in there as well, just the two colours mixed on the brush. And we'll start somewhere somewhere up there, sweep that down, reload, a bit more, push that right up, right up to there, a bit more yellow. A bit of blue just to vary it slightly into the raw sienna. A bit more blue, pushing it right up that path. The raw sienna. Right. Just make sure that's flat against this board and then. Once that's in place, just get these clips back on. Once that's in place, I'm switch to the rigger brush and I've got some big trees to put in. So first just want to give it a quick dry. bit of land here just shooting straight up. So I think I'm going to use the rigger brush for this. I'm going to get a bit of brown, plenty of water, 
bit of brown, bit of bit of blue, and some smaller, and just flick it up. Press down a little bit thicker. So I've got the main skeleton, you know, I'll use a dry brush to put a few leaves on here and there. That's the first one. Second one, just use a different technique. So you can faff around with the height brush or you can just bash them straight in using a chisel edge. I mean faff around with the um the rig out, we'll just pop them in like this. Off a bit easier. Let's, uh, so just put the main skeleton in and then just a few branches here and there. Do that, little, oh, that one's a little bit further back, so I'll do that one a little bit smaller. And then three layers of brush. And maybe have another one. Just a slightly smaller one there. Get a bit of dry brush on there. So I'm just cleaning the brush now, squeezing the paint out into the water jar. Take the excess off on the tea towel. And just give it a bit, little bit long, just giving slightly cad yellow. Ultramarine, just like that. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do for that before I start doing so far. Next one, I'll put a little bit of. trees and just something like that. Just anchors them down a little bit. Just little bits of grass here and there. Oh, just a few little flicks I think with the shadows in I think. So I'm cleaning the brush, take the excess up on the tea towel, and then a bit of alizarin crimson, a little bit of Payne's grey. So we've got some imaginary trees on this left hand side and they're casting these shadows over here just like that, something like Shadows coming off, off these trees there. Just a bit down the bottom like that. That's what I'm going to do with the shadows, I think.
to the smallest brush I got, this little little brush. I'll take a little bit of red. I need a little man I uh, walk in his dog, so I've just popped in his body first. Then I'm going into the blue. Just pop his legs in. Is it? And then just down there. Good dog. Don't forget your little shadows off the two little figures. Last but not least, I'm just going to stick my hand down here in the corner and call this one finished. So it soon looks like the main sun. So here's the finished paint in the main. So if we go and have a closer look at it. So starting with the sky here, we've got a bit of ultramarine there. Then we've got a bit of... Um, was it, uh, well this was a bit of light red added to the mix, I think we had cad yellow and a bit of raw sienna creating a sort of purpley colour, um, uh, yellowy colour there. And then a bit of alizarin crimson and Payne's grey to do the clouds here and there. And then same colours, you can see the same colours of the clouds mixed on the most distant land there just to help push it right back as far as possible. Once that background was dry, I then scraped in these really dark trees and then using the plastic card, scraped in a few little buildings and details. Um, I mean, these little things, just, just random details that, that you just let your eye, your imagination run wild. Um, right in front of there, and then switch from really dark to light cad yellow and raw sienna mixed together to create these, create these sort of nice bright um, grassy areas. Moving over to the right hand side, again we've got mixtures of sort of dark and light toned trees, a few scrapes here with the fingernails, just a few branches and tree trunks. These foreground trees, put the first one in using the rig, but then it's, it's a lot easier using the hake brush. Just put the solid bit in, the, the trunk in with the with the hake brush and any big branches and then you can just switch to the rigger to do the finer stuff. Bit of dry brush work, just uh, to just a few leaves and uh, things growing in the tree. Foreground path there leads us up to our little man walking his dog. And we've got a few shadows casting from left hand side across, a few shadows as well off these trees just to try and complete the the effect. So that's it for this one, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to carry on painting um, over on Patreon, you'll be able to watch the videos over there. So until next time, keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.